Portland, Oregon, I did not come here to deprive you of WikiHow. Portland, Oregon, I came to your city to bring you more WikiHow. Buddy Bread, who are our next players? He's a full-time doula and part-time men's rights advocate, hailing from my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack, also Long Island, New York, King Lou Fernandez! Come on down! <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas and all through the state Our next oh. guy was twitching with unexplained hate He okay. gnashed and he howled with a big grumpy I frown From Shitbeard, New Hampshire, Jack Chick, come on down! From Mayo Chup, Minnesota, our next competitor enjoys historical Star Wars reenactments and competitive ass vaping. His likes, his likes are bitching and his dislikes are whatever you like. <laughs> Lemon! Come on down! He is the assistant editor of Myth Aficionado magazine and recently took a vow of silence. Hailing from Stupid Shoes, North Dakota, come Quatsa! Come on down! Hello. 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 Lou, yeah. are you ready to uh, press the button? Okay. Then press, Absolutely. Then press the button. This is a very exciting. What? What? Lou Fernandez, your topic is how to survive a freestyle rap battle. Fantastic. Well, we lose. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Begin. Uh, okay. All right. Hi, everybody. Hello. How are you? All right, everyone. This is, I want everyone to know we're going to discuss how to survive a freestyle rap battle. Rap battles can be a great opportunity for a rapper to showcase their talents. In a rap battle, the rapper with the best delivery lyrics and crowd response usually wins. By writing your own rap songs, freestyling as often as possible, staying relaxed and feeling the energy of your crowds, you'll not only survive these battles, you'll thrive. Rising to the top of the heap, as is often said <laughs> in rap songs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. How is this? Oh, I see. Wait, I don't see. Oh, I see. Oh, brother. All right. Part one, training your brain. Study videos online of battles. Check out websites like Rapt FM. Study some freestyle raps done by accomplished artists who are well known for the rap battles. You can learn a lot from rappers like Idea, Atmosphere, Tech... Nine AMB, Nas, Eminem, Tupac, Biggie, G Gin, and Biggie, and Plies. <laughs> and uh, good battles to look up include the Blaze Battles from HBO, Scribble Jam, among others. There is also a scene in the movie Eight Mile that is good. I've never, I've never heard of that. No, what? Hmm? Uh, that was a uh, freeform uh, freestyle movie making. They just set yeah. the cameras up it and they just a, like let them go. A, it is a great representation of what freestyle rap battle is really like. 
Pay careful attention to the techniques those artists use in battle and try to mirror them, which will help you enhance your own techniques. Look for any upcoming rap battles in your area. <laughs> Checking out live performances can give you an idea of the kind of energy environment freestyle artists must learn to perform in. It's Meet like, single battlers in yes. your area. It's, yeah. It's a lot like this. Uh, rap battles can get pretty intense, especially when you're on the spot. Uh, rap number two, write rap songs. <laughs> it's part of a rap battle. having Not songs. rap dances. You know, it's not fair to freestyle when you've written it, but write down anything that comes to mind and try to rhyme it. Write rap lyrics and then choose the best rhymes to go with them. Consider getting rhyming, a rhyming dictionary. The ability to write an effective battle rhyme will aid when it comes to the battle. Note some rappers don't write everything down. They keep everything in their head so they can only talk about what's quote unquote real. Don't try to force rhymes all the time. Just let it come naturally and do your best. <laughs> Learn to play. Number three is, of course, learn to play the trumpet. <laughs> and, <laughs> because, of course, all the well, famous. It's not for the rapping, it's just so they can get laid. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And let all the people who. <laughs> learn to play the trumpet and let all those people know who's boss. Matt Pat has more information on his YouTube, quote unquote, breaking wiki how trumpeting like a boss is a good cure. This makes no sense. Playing the trumpet will distract them <laughs> and guarantee your victory. And, totally. and, and arouse. And arouse. Totally, totally, totally true. He's totally wrong. true. That a would be a surprise. Of, a lot of rap battles are showing a secondary <laughs> skill that people might not expect. I mean, I feel like maybe if they picked up the trombone, that might escalate it a bit. Right. Lou, I think once again, you're confusing rap battles Check with Miss America yeah. pageants. Check my style. <laughs> the uh, four, play basketball. Sports and rap may be completely unrelated, but a sport like basketball requires a lot of improvised movement that will help you further train your brain and help with your performance. That's an, actually a great rhyme. Train and brain, just for the future. <laughs> Sports can help your brain learn to flip a switch and get in the zone. This is an important technique to learn to block and distract and perform under pressure when your moment arrives. I mean, I'm heating up. <laughs> <laughs> Five, practi practice. Practice freestyling. Rapping without pre-written lyrics on the spot or impromptu should be done anytime, anywhere, and as much as you can. While you're at it, practice freestyling battle rhymes, even if it means looking at a photo and thinking about an ex. Or a <laughs> <laughs> what rhymes with Linda? <laughs> should I practice that along with the trumpet? <laughs> If you can come up with some wicked, mean trumpet to trumpet at somebody. Or should like I just not do? practice the trumpet? <laughs> you you want to confuse them, right? You got to know how to play the trumpet. Uh, uh, even, uh, do whatever you can to come up with clever new ways to insult. Whenever you think you've run out of freestyle, about, no, things to freestyle about, just keep going. The longer you force yourself to rap without giving up, the wow. stronger and more flexible you become wow. mentally. Number two, forming your battle plan. Outline your performance. You won't have time to write it down, but you need to learn to mentally outline your performance while you wait your turn. In between each round of a rap battle, you have a few minutes while your opponent takes their turn. Make the most of your time by figuring out your ideas and how to organize them in your next verse. Figure out which line is your best? You may have to choose to which one to lead with or save it until the end. Learning how to highlight your best disses will make them stand out and be more memorable and help you to win over the audience. <laughs> Number two. Okay, ignore the last five guys line, but the, the, the next line is pretty funny. <laughs> I really liked your rap about me. It was mean. Uh, Number two. Use strategy. 
Don't come at every opponent of a rap battle the same. Figure out your method by taking, uh, to take down your opponent before they go on stage. By doing your homework and studying the competition, you can find weaknesses to exploit. Read The Art of War by Sun Tzu. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, for years, businesses have used the art of war to develop the strategic thinking about being successful. The same methods can help you be better, too. You may want to choose to go after your opponent right away or defuse any attacks you think they are planning to come at you with. Self-criticism may, may be unexpected by the opponent because, you know, when shitting on yourself is really not the first step. <laughs> It can help you be better at battle, too. Uh, self criticism can be explained by that. But in Eight Miles Final Battle Rap, for example, BB Rabbit was put to, the sp uh, put to spit first and decided to insult himself before Papa Doe got a chance. Yet, I'm white. Yeah, I'm a bum. I <laughs> do it at trailer to save my mom. The boy future. Uncle Tom? Yeah. Uncle Tom? Yeah. That was insane. Lou Fernandez! That was King Lou Fernandez! I'll be available for rap battles after the show. I wrote this. Freelance rap battle coach Lou Fernandez. Jack Chick! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, back way, back through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd like to go this way. <laughs> well, well, that went as well as expected. Yeah. I love yeah. that you Thank thought you. that was a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I'll just get up on this yeah. table here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the normal thing will happen when I get up on a bar table. FYI, that table is not very sturdy. Wait oh, you're minute. kidding. Oh, you oh, I had no idea. You colluded with that table to not steal a my thunder. Table. Not a stepping table. I dislike it. Jack Chick, are you ready to press the button in a responsible way? <laughs> I mean, it is no the button's on a table. Button. The button is on a table. <laughs> when you're ready, press that button. Let's go whammy. Oh, oh, that was nuts. Oh, that's exciting. It's exciting. A wrestler. Yeah. Oh. Jack Chick! <laughs> please tell right. us! Jack Chick, please tell us how to become Pope. The Pope is the head of the Catholic Church, and since 1929, he is also the head of the world's smallest sovereign state, the Vatican. Technically, the only requirements to become Pope are that you are male and a practicing Catholic. However, since Pope Urban in 1378, no Pope has been elected outside of the College of Cardinals. To become Pope, begin by becoming a priest and working your way up through the Catholic hierarchy until you are elected by your peers. Oh. Checks out. Why, why do I need this whole doc for this? <laughs> Part one, becoming a priest. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, become a Catholic. <laughs> That's why we invited you here, everybody. Are you all saved? <laughs> Truth is, we've been with God. We've always been behind him. So oh, that's man. what you've all been doing wrong, right? You haven't been Catholic. <laughs> so, is this part of the dark carnival? So, like, do I really need to go through what the fuck it takes to become a Catholic? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. To become Pope, you must be both male and Catholic. If you're not born into the Catholic faith, you will need to convert. This process is called the Rite of Christian Initiation. I mean that, too. <laughs> this is a process that will take time. You need to become educated in the Catholic faith and the ways of the church. This pro process is called catechism. You will need to be baptized. This occurs after your education is finished. Uh, becoming a Catholic is an exploration of faith. You must be guided and mentored, blah, 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 blah. Step two, consider your calling. <laughs> Being a priest is not just a job. It's a lifestyle. 
Nice. So, so I became a priest, and I was like, I'm just a priest, but like, I'm not really, it's not really into, like, I wish I had a reason to be a priest. So, Lemon, you know that priests are not allowed to marry or engage in sexual activity, right? I didn't. That sounds great. Okay, yeah. No, I know. That's, that's obviously super good, so. Um, yeah, no, exactly, right? So, spend some time considering your vocation. You should consider your gifts. Are you compassionate? Is your faith strong? Do you hate sex? Uh, these, are s- <laughs> these are some important qualities for a priest. Get some advice. Talk to your own priest. Blah, 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 whatever. Okay. Step three. <clears throat> Take a leadership role. As you get older, you can begin to more actively consider whether a career as a spiritual leader is right for your life. Around the world, many dioceses offer leadership programs for Catholic youth. Ask your local priest if this is an option for you. Many of these programs offer whatever, I don't care. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Step four, get an education. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. You but, must learn. I mean, if I know one thing about faith, right, it's, it's super duper uh, uh, predicated on education. Yeah, right? Corinthians 1.1, one, one, uh, read a book, read a book, read a motherfucking yeah. book. Yeah. <laughs> Corinthians I forgot that that was right before give me that Christian side <laughs> hug. <laughs> Uh, get an education. It'll be useful to take classes in a foreign language. The Pope is an international huh. figure, so communication is an excellent skill to learn, especially if you actually become Pope. <laughs> <laughs> but not otherwise. Naturally, to do this, talk to your guidance counselor. <laughs> Most high schools have a guidance counselor. So, what? you know... How old are you? If you're, you're out this? of high school, go to a fucking high school and talk to the goddamn <laughs> guidance counselor, you shithead. Every pope started in high school. What are you waiting for? <laughs> you well, you're not the pope to. yet. You have to so start. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Just, you know, it's fine. Step five, continue your learning. You will need to go to either a traditional college or seminary to become a priest. Enter a seminary, you need either a high school diploma or a GED. I have no idea what, who this is targeted to anymore. <laughs> Step six, choose, choose the right education. You don't want to go to one of those liberal arts colleges that might teach you about the humanities. Your spiritual journey is important, so it's a big choice to decide where to hone the skills you need to follow your... ITT tech. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that's the end of that chapter. (laughs) All right, part two, step one. Be an effective priest. Once you become a priest, you want to make sure... (laughs) E-C-C-I-V. Once you become a priest, you want to make sure that you excel at your job. This is the best way to earn a promotion in the ranks of the church. A good priest is dependable and helps the members of his church and the community. Uh, Yeah. Now, step two, hone your people skills. (laughs) After you are a priest, you earn the designation Monsignor. This means you need to make a good impression of people who are in leadership positions above you. So you're fucking expected to, you know, treat the people above you well. That's weird. (laughs) Step three, become a bishop. Nice. Oh, okay. You gotta level up. A bishop is essentially the chief priest or pastor of a diocese. A diocese is a terrier or whatever. Step four, become cardinal. I mean, this is just a fucking hierarchy. (laughs) All right. Let's go to the community Q&A here. Question, can I meet the pope? community answer. Yes, but it would have to be at a designated greeting, which can be difficult. Question. How do they make the smoke black or white? (laughs) Cheers. According to Michael Jackson, it doesn't matter if the smoke is black or white. (laughs) Question. I hated that joke so much. (laughs) What? what? (laughs) He was the king of pop. (laughs) Question, what did Pope Francis do before he was elected? He was a cardinal. No fucking shit. Oh, snap! (laughs) Sick burn! Question, why can't we have an African pope? (laughs) Community answer, there are not any laws against it. (laughs) Question, can I become a pope as a Muslim? (laughs) 
fuck it. Let's give it a shot. An- uh, answer. No. Oh. That sounded like a, it sounded like an HBO pitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Community answer. No. Uh. Nobody at WikiHow is deigned to, uh, to, to, to weigh in on that subject. Um, uh, Mr. Liu, there's a couple of shirts underneath the chair that you're sitting in. Could you hand those to me, please? Does anybody here like Lou Reed's The Internet? (laughs) Fantastic. Enjoy. Just just remember, a vote for the person who gave you t-shirts of the different podcast. (laughs) Don't vote for the person whose t-shirts they are. It's a fucking... Fucking next level shit. Fucking next level shit. Respect. I respect that. Fantastic. Jack Chick! Jack Chick, everybody. Hey, guys, do you want to vote for me? Here's somebody else's merch. (laughs) Lemon! No, no, no. No. Yes, no, No, that's right. If you want me I, to catch you, you can talk. You can walk on the table. I highly recommend stepping on the table. Catch it's really me. solid. My brother bought me that beer. <laughs> Lemon, are you ready to press the big button? Fuck yeah, I'm ready to press the big fucking button. Uh, which one of these are you the most excited about getting? Right there. Okay. Right there. That's what I want. Then big button. Hit the big button. Let's go, Lemon. <sighs> Center my chakra. Here we go. Who built this software? to report illegal immigrants. Four more years. Four more years. <laughs> Most illegal immigrants, also known as illegal aliens. Yes! Undocumented immigrants and EWIs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, foul, foul. People cheat. Official, official complaint. While improper entry into the United States is a misdemeanor, unlawful presence, living in America without proper legal status is only a civil offense. Just because someone is currently an illegal immigrant does not mean that they entered the country illegally. In the United States and other countries, illegal immigration rapidly... No, that's facts. Fuck that shit. Part number one. Identifying illegal immigrants. Okay. So seeing as how it's being recorded, (laughs) never make snap decisions based on appearance. In many countries, certain ethnic groups, certain ethnic groups, even the microphones. There we go. I'm good. I got it. I got it. We got it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Hey, the person's race. Ask yourself, would I honestly report someone who looks like me or only someone who looks different? If you would not, you're doing this for racist reasons. Exactly. That's what I'm doing. (laughs) The person's ability to speak your country's official language. Legal immigrants sometimes struggle with a new language for years. The person's job or lack thereof, a manual labor doesn't mean a foreign person is illegal. It's always best to be safe. (laughs) Look for definitive proof. (laughs) Accusations that someone's an illegal immigrant aren't supported by some sort of evidence are baseless for much of a better chance of being taken seriously by law enforcement agencies. (laughs) 
<laughs> and more importantly, a better chance that you're correct in the accusation, gather evidence. Remember when trying to find proof that someone's an illegal immigrant? Don't do anything illegal yourself, except for if you're a sovereign citizen, nothing <laughs> is technically illegal. <laughs> Checkmate, Mexicans! Am I being detained? Yeah. Am I free to go? Am I being detained? Am I free to go? Am I being detained? Am I free to go? <laughs> Why aren't you answering? Am I being detained? I'm recording this. I've put bulleted lists in my WikiHow article for no fucking reason. A background check raises suspicion. If the results of a normal legal background check show that someone is not a legal citizen, you're justified in contacting the authorities. Consider hiring a, a private investigator, or if you live in the United States, running a free e-verify check via the Department of Homeland Security's website. <laughs> That website, once again, is lemonmadethis.fuckyoubitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes or brags by a person about his illegal status. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? Yeah, it's hard for me to get health care. What, bitch? <laughs> I fear ice every day. Fuck you. Um... <laughs> Uh, fuck that. Use available public records, government information that's freely available, and the public will can help inform your choice to report someone as an illegal immigrant. Particularly useful are court summons, which are available in the public record. Local immigration courts will have information about summons. Part two, reporting illegal immigrants to the proper authorities. What? What a hey, hey protecting lemon. your freedom, you bitches. Lemon, what do lemon, what do I do if I've called so many times they won't take my call anymore? <laughs> Report criminal illegal immigrants directly to the local police. <laughs> Most illegal immigrants. Some take advantage of their off-the-grid status to engage in serious crime. Wait, if I'm a sovereign citizen, don't I hate the police? Uh, oh my god, contact ICE. Um, <laughs> when I try to stop you from doing you. Just throw that whole page away There's for being so cursed. so much time left. Don't skip. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you've never met a person who can vamp for 10 minutes. Oh, right. I have several silly voices. <laughs> silly voice number one. That was a really long heckle. <laughs> can, you, can you write that down? <laughs> Submit it to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Just... Please Just submit that directly to the local police. at T-H-E-F-P-L dot U-S. Illegal immigrants can and do contribute to a country through their work and consumption as well as by paying <laughs> some taxes. Another proposed fix would be to allow illegal immigrants to make contributions legally by lightening the restrictions on work visas. No! No! What? It's all falling away. It makes no sense. That sounds like communism to me. Uh, <laughs> step number four, be sure to vote. <laughs> Just to show them how fun it is. <laughs> yes, I'm registered and here is my address. Uh, hey, come what's up. Yes, hello. You got a uh, question you want to ask me? <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. If someone's visa has run out, can I report that person? If you are absolutely certain that the person is overstaying his visa, it is up to you. Yeah, 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 yeah,
what should I do if I am married to the illegal immigrant? And he uses, oh, a nightmare. And, 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 and he uses many aliases and deals drugs. I don't. And I an don't alias like, like Lemon. It sounds like a great. Ask word. for fifteen percent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> remove yourself from that situation to someplace safe and anonymously to report your spouse. But ignore them first. <laughs> how? I'm done. How do uh, I? <laughs> Just remember, vote lemon and vote fascism. Three, two, one. Lemon! Give it up for lemon. Hey. Our last competitor for the heat, Comquatso! Six or dude. Let's see that big board. Comquats up. Are you ready to press the big button? What's up? You are reading Babes or the Bay Area Boggy Society! <laughs> Whoa, lucky. So lucky. Sergio Argonne is so now. proud. Thank you, thank you, Adam. I've really come out of my shell. <laughs> the following are visitor comments left in the guest book of Babes or the Bay Area Bug Eating Society, a website devoted to the enjoyment and fun of cooking insects as a meal. Hi, my name is Martha Bromsky. One day in November, there I was, sitting beneath a willow tree, quietly thinking about my life, the journeys I have traveled through. It was November, which is characteristically the Wombaticlaus housing time. This fascinated creature leaves its Wandororis purple cocoon in November, and I was sitting beneath the willow tree in November. Suddenly, I felt a plip pop on my head, and, and what is this? What in the name of all that is holy is this? I don't know. I thought of my mother. My life, my life pl plashed, it plashed. It plashed before my eyes and I became still as I remembered I had lied about brushing my teeth as a child. And would our savior send me to hell? I don't know, but then I had an epiphany. She reached down and up and felt for the gooey mass that had twisted itself into my joyous locks, brown with streaks of mug wing like gray. I felt the gooey tentaculars of the bug creature in my hand and looked down. It was the poison of the creature. I was doomed to die in three hours! Fantastic. How those levels over there, Jimmy Franks? <laughs> this is I knew I had to party cats. it up, so I fulfilled what? my lust to eat every bug I saw. Crickets, crunchy and delectable, and a bit like chocolate and mud, and so gooey. Oh, who needs chocolate when you have bugs? Bugs, 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 bugs. <laughs> now all I eat is bugs. Hey, 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 I work at Walmart. I just recently had four wisdom teeth pulled and I haven't been the same since. I went to the dentist and they gave me something that knocked me out. I don't remember a thing afterwards, just waking up at home and my mom there by my side giving me medicine. But I have changed. Something had to have happened while I was drugged. I was weak the next day after the surgery, but I went to work the next day. But I have all this energy and I ate for four days and was pudding and milkshakes and I finally had a full meal today. After nine days, I BBQ'd sausage, tons of chicken flavored rice and a salad. But ever since I woke up that day after the surgery, I have been acting weird. I had this boost of physical energy and mental awareness and I just see things differently and, and the two days after the surgery no, no. I ran two miles and I hadn't ran a long while and I started exercising and doing sit-ups and push-ups and, and everything else and I have more smarts and I have goals and I talk a lot of work and I'm just more aware of everything and I finally have a craving for bugs I have a craving for bugs I have a craving for bugs I have a craving for bugs yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. It's like James it all Brown. It started when I was on milkshakes for breakfast deal. Every morning, after I'm done running, I would make a shake and woke up with milk and cinnamon mum, 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 and and spoonful of Ovaltine and one banana. Nana. I heard Ovaltine. But then I just started <laughs> thinking about putting we one cricket. We're like a third of the way in, folks. And I only are, understood the word Ovaltine anyways, in the last five eat, minutes. But now I just can't stop thinking about other dishes and eating bugs in general. And, and, and weird happened when I went in surgery. Like I went on my body or though heaven or something. Check out. It's just so weird. <laughs> and, and, and thanks a bunch for reading my story. And I'm going to check on the website. Are there a case for this happening? Is this me or what? Please try to help. By the, by the I think I may be putting a crack in my shake. What shake. is this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but the document's actually I, written entirely in Dutch. I, I, God, I fucking love death metal. I like to eat ants after <laughs> I've done them with my magnifying glass on a nice sprinkly day. I have been doing this since I was five. I burned them. I burned them. I burned them. And they are crispy. I, I sprinkled them with powdered sugar. I then put them in a flaky Ritz cracker. My name is Missy. Hey, when I was a young pup about 35, I had the queerest idea ever. I was in a French food fanatic then, and I even had escargot for breakfast. <laughs> I must admit, I was a tad bit of an obsession I had acquired in my youth. Let's not go to the specifics of my younger sister Pamela running off with her Frenchman Francis. <laughs> Anyways, I was looking for an alternate path at the ripe age of 35. I was still living with the love of my life. My fears and sad departed. I cannot wait to run mother. this shit through a closed captioning service. Anyways, Absolutely. she was dusting about when she dropped a gold handled feather duster and screamed piercing scream, and that would haunt me for the rest of my short life. I grabbed that bugger <laughs> of a bug and squeezed it into me balm. I then had a bivany. What if this tasted similar to a snail? So I raised the bug above my head and proclaimed, I shall devour! And I plunged the bug into my wedding trap of a shiny white ones. It was an experience. An epiaphany, I say. The taste, hard to describe. <laughs> Nutty at first, of course. <laughs> but then after the taste, I must say that drew me to where I am now, a lonely four to five year old. Instead of the Atkins, chose a bug only diet to further pursue the delights of insects, the Atkins. Manifestations that are currently growing in my esophagus. I have decided that I will be the devoutest member of your ye old loveless society. I love this place, this San Mateo. So many parks are waiting to be dug up to find splendid old sleep juicy treasures. Compact nutrition, tantalizing the taste buds. Now, you ever claim the bugs taste like chicken? We're far, far wrong. Yeah, the taste is the meaning of my life to me. And my friends. So I thank you for making me possible to submit my feeling for bugs on the internet. Now everyone will realize my passion for bugs. I, Bugsy, as I have changed it, am eternally grateful. Thanks, a bugillion. Nice. Hi. Hi, my name is Roy. Hi, Roy. One night at dinner, my mom was cooking and I was eating bugs. <laughs> That's my whole story, I'm Roy. Shine a little glowworm, glimmer, 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 glimmer. Shine What's a little happening? glowworm, glimmer, glimmer, glimmer. Lead us what less too fuck? far. We wonder, love, sweet voices calling yonder. Shine, little glowworm, glimmer, glimmer, glimmer. Hey there, don't get dimmer, dimmer, dimmer. Line the path below and above and lead us under love. Glow, little glowworm. Fly the fire. Glow like an incandescent wire. Glow for the female of the species. Turn on the AC. DC and the DC. Oh, this night could use a little brightening. Light up, you old little bug lightning. When you gotta glow, you gotta glow, glow, glow. 
Glow, little glow worm, glow, little glow worm, glow, little glow worm, glow and glimmer, <laughs> swim through the sea of the night, little swimmer, thou aeronautical bull weevil, illuminate Aren't you glad you paid for this? See how the shadows deepen dark, and you and your chick should get to spark. And ah, I got a gal that I love so. Glow, little glow worm, glow, little glow worm, turn the key on. You are equipped with tail light neon. You wow. got a cute vest wow. pocket Mazda! Wow. Yeah! And now it is time for you to choose before the- Before we do that... Wait. Before we do that, I want to say uh, that was the dumbest shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really took the air out of my intro, but yeah. I know, but uh, you know, uh, so there's there's uh, there's maybe uh, arguably one or two things that I'm good at. Uh, JavaScript and QA are not among them. <laughs> this is what happens when you outsource. If hypothetically I might have fucked up launch today and made it so that you could vote twice. Oops. I'm not saying that did happen. I'm just saying if hypothetically you notice that happen, don't do it. Yeah. Honesty is very once. important tonight. Please go to the motherfucking dot best and vote for the motherfucking best. This is absurd. Oh, how weird. That's too funny. That is hilarious. I, su- I appreciate your support. It's uh, uh, ridiculous. I've had some cricket flower chips. They were terrible. Hey, Achilles. Good luck. Go, Quats up! Holy shit! Holy shit! All right. What a heat! That was that was uh, that was uh, not the experience that I expected, but definitely the result I expected. All right, here's the thing, motherfuckers. We're gonna take about five minutes. We're gonna take about a five minute break, longer than the last one, but about five minute break. Go ahead, get yourself some beer. Once again, tip your bar staff very, very generously. Five minutes, we're gonna be coming back with another heat of this thing. <laughs> 